breastfeeding. I think that that's an important thing for me to kind of go over in a video as well because it's difficult to know how many calories to eat, what you uh, what you need to produce a good milk supply, and then what's going to help you lose weight because basically cutting calories is what's going to help you burn fat. I think that the quality of your calories are the most is the most important thing. That is going to give your body all the nutrients it needs. It's going to help it let go of fat. And a lot of times when you're eating quality calories, you're eating um, lower amount of calories and you don't even realize it. So counting calories doesn't really even need to happen because you're, you're putting good food in your body. Where you might want to start counting calories is if you feel like you're eating very clean, you're eating a lot of highly nutrient dense foods, which is fruits and vegetables. You want to eat a lot of those. Those are going to fill you up too. Um, and you're still not losing the weight. So that's when you're kind of getting to a point where you're, you need a little ticket to the next level, basically, which would be making sure that you're eating as clean as you think you are, making sure that you're not just eating too many calories, even though it's very clean food, maybe you're eating too much protein, maybe you're eating too much fat and avocados and things like that that add up quickly. So you wanna get an app like MyFitnessPal and you wanna just track your calories for, I would say three to four days assuming, now here's the important part, assuming that you have a healthy milk supply. So you do not want to do this if you are still struggling with your milk supply. It's just counting calories, losing weight is not as important as your milk supply. So I am assuming that you're ready to start counting calories because you have decided that you want to uh, take it a step further and that you're already eating clean. So the quality of your calories are, um, are kind of on point. From there, you need to see exactly how much you're eating a day. And just add up what you eat normally. Don't try to count calories, I mean, don't try to eat less, don't try to monitor your eating, just eat what you would, just count and monitor what you would normally eat. So that way you can get a good baseline of how many calories you're eating for um, the amount of milk that you're producing. That is gonna be your starting point. From there, you can look at everything you logged and say, oh, did I eat as clean as I could? Could I have replaced maybe um, some trail mix with um, apples and, and turkey or something like that. Um, and really take a look at the quality of the calories first. So before you reduce, look at the quality and decide, oh, can I replace some more food that I'm eating with fruits and vegetables? Can I replace some more fat with protein? Because fat is higher in calories, so that's gonna add up. So that would be your first step. From there, you want to take a look at the number of calories and if your milk supply is great, you feel great, then I would say reduce about 100 calories a day because that's going to add up pretty quickly. From there, you can judge, oh, you know, I feel great, I'm eating 100 calories less, I don't notice any difference in my milk supply, and then that will give you a slow weight drop over time. I wouldn't consider your workouts much of a calorie burn. It's just, unless you're running miles, the, the HIIT workouts, the Pilates, and even the cardio ones that I add, those, those are going to burn the most calories because cardio is really what burns calories, and that's a big deal for weight loss. Um, but I wouldn't really consider your workouts. I would just work out how you normally would, but not factor that into your mind. Because most people assume they burn more calories than they really do. So you just want to focus on your food. And then if you need to up your food intake back up because you're like, hey, you know, my milk supply doesn't seem to be uh, responding well, it seems like it dropped a bit, then I would put your calories back up and try to clean those calories up even more. And that's where you're gonna to wanna to start playing with your macros a bit, which I'm gonna do another video on, and I have another uh, tutorial on how to do your macros because that's where you can get into uh, the number of carbs you're eating, the percentage of them, fat and protein. Basically, carbs are a big deal for breastfeeding, so uh, that you want to try to be heavier on the carbs if you can, because they have a lot of nutrients in them. So from there, once you do the 100 calories less, I would stick to that for like a week or so, maybe two. If you're feeling super good and you have a lot of weight to lose, then try doing 200. See where you're at, uh, because you can always add more calories. It's not like you're all of a sudden going to drastically drop your milk supply. If you do, bump it back up. You, there's um, a bunch of supplements that I list in the program that can help you kind of keep your milk supply up while you're reducing calories. I highly recommend those because it's just gonna help protect that supply. But usually it's the nutrients for your milk supply, not necessarily the calories that are gonna affect it. Um, 
Um, and when people cut calories, they're usually cutting out nutrients. So that's where you want to be super careful. And um, from that point on, I wouldn't keep reducing calories. I would try to find a nice spot of like 200 less, 300 less. It, it really depends on how many pounds you have to lose. If you have a lot to lose, then you can slowly decrease and decrease and decrease. Um, or maybe you're eating you know, 5,000 calories a day and you really don't need to be eating that much, so you can reduce by 1,000. I'm not really sure where you're at. I don't, you're probably not there, but you get the idea that I don't know you, I don't know how many calories you're eating, and that's where it's your job to be responsible for your nutrition and how many calories you're eating and to really pay attention. Paying attention is what is going to make it very successful for you because then you are going to be able to protect your bones pride, lose weight safely, and, and really get to where you want to go. And so I hope that helps you and gives you kind of some motivation on how to do it and alleviate some fears that just reducing calories is going to all of a sudden make you in a deficit and make your mouth supply go down, which it's not. Your body knows what to do, it knows how to burn fat, it knows how to use fat as fuel, and it knows how to use nutrients to make breast milk. So you can trust your body and you can do it very carefully um, and, and you'll be fine and, and you'll feel good and you'll let go of some extra fat that your body doesn't need. I hope that helps.